to the Space Coast Channel's Brevard Vets Matter Show. I'm your host, Ricardo Alvarez Jr., otherwise known as Computer Rich LLC, your personal tech support. We're here today with Don Weaver at the Veterans Memorial Center on Merritt Island. So Don, what is it that you do and uh, with the organization here? Well, Rich, first of all, I want to say thank you and Space Coast uh, Channel for coming today because we believe that Brevard Vets Matters is a good program and we want to be part of it. As, as you mentioned, my name is Don Weaver. I am the chairman of the, of the expansion committee of the Veterans Memorial Center here on Merritt Island. We've been working for almost two years now to expand and improve our center, and my job is to make sure it all comes together. Don, what is it that the organization does and what type of services are you offering? The Brevard Veterans Memorial Center is also a veterans council. We're an umbrella organization to try to support all the veterans in Brevard County. According to the VA statistics, there are more than 70,000 veterans in Brevard, making it one of the two largest counties per, as, in terms of percentage of population of veterans. We also have 10 veteran groups that meet here at our Veterans Memorial Center, and we've had a museum, a library, and we're adding a lot of things in the, in the short term uh, that we hope people will come and visit and support. We also have the largest disabled American veterans chapter, 123, that works here. They support more than 3,400 veterans a year who need assistance with disabled American uh, issues, particularly with the problems with the VA. They've been quite active and supportive. So we are indeed a multifaceted organization, all volunteers trying our very best to never stop serving. Well, Don, that sounds like a lot of services that you provide. What is it, the purpose of the organization? Well, I'd like to say that the main thing we do are really in three different areas. Number one, provide support to veterans wherever we can. Number two, make sure that Americans understand what veterans have done to serve uh, our country and to make America what it is today. And finally, to offer veterans and the public a place to come and see real things that have happened in terms of a free museum, a free library, and uh, now a, a beautiful new memorial park. All free, always open seven days a week. Well, Don, it, it looks like there's a lot of new developments here with the museum, the library, the store, and I understand there's also an 82-acre park. Well, Rich, uh, we indeed are about to go into the biggest expansion in our history. I think we have to say a little bit about background here. We were founded in 1978. In 1990, the, the building was first built here in this area on Merritt Island with support from the county. By, 19, by 2016, we finally have now reached a goal that we've had for many, many years to expand our facility. Uh, this includes, as you mentioned, a 6,000 square foot two-story museum with a three-story tower that is modeled after the towers that were in World War II along the coastline looking for U-boats. We also have a brand new library which has interactive computer uh, materials there that have so far 41 World War II veterans telling their stories on DVDs that people can understand their stories about what they've done. We call it the Veterans History Project. We also have in the museum, as you mentioned, a new store where people can buy military-related memorabilia and items. The store will help us to employ two veterans who are going to college but need a part-time job. So this is a real, uh, real important point as we try to uh, help as many people as we can. And the store will, for the first time, give us, uh, we hope, substantial earning potential to employ those veterans. Remember, everything we have is free. All of this is going to be open to the public on Veterans Day, 11th of November, a Friday. Make it a good long weekend and start with us on 11 November at 9 o'clock in the morning till 1030. We have a major program on Veterans Day. And then the entire day, the park is open uh, and includes not just the museum and the building and the support center, Veterans Support Center, but this 82-acre park, Rich, that you mentioned, which the county has spent more than a million dollars preparing, which is our Veterans Memorial Park, eventually will be the home of the Vietnam Moving Wall and many other uh, monuments of the future. But for now, it'll be a great park where people can come and relax and enjoy and then come and see us over at the Veterans Memorial Center. Well, Don, that's quite impressive. What plans do you have for the future? Well, I'll tell you, the, the uh, effort that we have now has really uh, taken a lot 
to get what, what we want to do now, but there are plans for the future. First of all, we think it'll take another six months or so to really get everything done fully. Uh, not to say that 11 November won't be a, a fantastic things to see and do, but we want to keep going, keep pushing to make sure that all that we have is running properly. And of course, we also, though, will be in the process of trying to see what more we can do to support veterans. We'll be looking at uh, different programs with the county, with the VA, with other foundations to try to get more support to veterans in need in our county. And we'll also be looking at schools. We'd love to have schools come on regular field trips to join and see the museum. We also have a Veterans Back to Class program that last year spoke to more than 3,500 students in Brevard in 17 schools. We want to expand that because the youth of America has to realize what veterans have done and in fact, remember, Rich, and I know you know this already, but only half of 1% of our population today is in uniform. So it's a responsibility of veterans, in our opinion, to make sure America knows and understands what veterans have done and to make sure that those young men and women uh, who graduate from high school know there's a shot for them and we need them to step up to join the military for those who want to do so. Well, Don, those are great facilities and I was just wondering what type of organizations can use it and what would be the cost to do so? Rich, that's a good question. I want uh, everybody to understand that almost everything we have here is totally free. The museum, the library, the store, well, you have to buy things at the store, sorry about that. Uh, the park, the 82-acre park, it's all free. All of the things after our grand opening on November 11th will be open every day of the week, uh, including weekends, from 8 o'clock in the morning till 4.30 at night. The park will be open from dawn to dusk. So in that sense, whether you're a veteran or a citizen or a tourist off the tour boats, we welcome you. We want you to come. We raise money basically based on donations. People see our museum, they want to donate. However, to help us raise funds, we also open to the community some really neat facilities that will be much improved by the time we finish our expansion later this year. For example, we have 150 people in, a, in what we call the Gray Hall. They can rent this for a half a day for $400, $150 deposit, and they can have, we have had weddings and and special birthday parties and all kinds of events here. Keep in mind that the Memorial Center is right on Sykes Creek. Beautiful water venue, beautiful place to be, and great facilities, freshly redone, brand new everything, freshly painted everything. Uh, and we really uh, do have places, uh, besides what we hope the public will visit with the park and the museum and the library, we also have a number of other rooms in our expansion that will be for other veterans organizations or government organizations. The county and uh, Cocoa Beach uh, Regional Chamber of Commerce regularly hold meetings here for businesses, for county officials to do certain projects, and we're always glad to host. Remember, this is county property. We're the tenants, but we are here to support the population of uh, Brevard with a focus on what veterans have, do or have done and will do for this uh, county and for our country. Well, once our grand opening is completed after Veterans Day, you'll have to remember that we'll have parking for more than 120 cars between the park and the center itself, with more than 15 handicapped parking spaces. We will have uh, outside facilities that include fishing and hiking and picnicking, not only in the park, but also around the building. And we will have uh, essentially um, um, from 8 o'clock in the morning till 4.30 every afternoon, access to the museum, access to the library, access to everything we have. Uh, so in essence, what we're trying to do with volunteers only is to make sure we're here to answer questions, we're here to be ready to help, and we're here for veterans, but we're also here to make sure the public gets the maximum from this beautiful space that thanks to a close relationship with the county, with the state, we've been able to improve in the last uh, year and a half. I will remind everybody, if they have any questions, call us at the center, Brevard Veterans Memorial Center, Merritt Island, Florida, Sykes Creek Parkway, behind the Merritt Square Mall. Call us on 321-453-1776. An easy number to remember. Remember, we are open on weekends. We are open to the public all the time outdoors. 
we're open indoors to the museum at uh, any time from 8 until 4.30. The library, the museum, veteran support areas, we're, we're open during those hours, but even longer for the outdoor activities. If anybody wants to host a wedding or a birthday party, or rent our facility, that can be done any weekend, only subject to scheduling. So if you have a desire to rent uh, some of our spaces, which is a big way for us to make money to support our programs, get a hold of us early. We're booking things sometimes almost a year out. But we, have, we do have things available, and we're anxious to uh, show how proud we are of the new Veterans Memorial Center and Veterans Memorial Park. Well, Don, I see that you, there is some wonderful facilities here, and you're right on uh, Sykes Creek. So I'm wondering, uh, do you have a ramp where we can, say, put a kayak in, and can we come out here and throw a couple of lines in the water and pull some of the fish out? In fact, with our expansion, this is the best it's ever been. We have uh, fishing in five or six major locations, including a brand new fishing pier. We have an organization that will set up a kayak and paddleboard uh, program right on the, the park uh, that will be running by uh, mid-November. And we have a canoe ramp right behind the Veterans Memorial Center that the public can use at any time uh, that the park is open dawn to dusk uh, and launch canoes right behind the Memorial Center. We have picnic areas, a gazebo, uh, playground in military uh, fashion that we picked out for the kids to use. In other words, it's a great family place with lots of activities uh, to satisfy anybody's outdoors interests. And they are always free. These uh, are open dawn to dusk. Everything is free outside except, of course, renting the kayaks or paddle boards at our new concession that will be open in mid-November. But with our new uh, canoe launching ramp, you can bring your canoe, your kayak, and launch on your own from right behind the center of uh, the main building. Well, Don, I notice here that you have a big event here on November the 11th. And uh, what I'd like to know is uh, what kind of special ceremonies or events do you have here? And, and I also noticed in the flyer that it said lunch is provided by some of the local businesses. And it says 400 seats are available. This sounds like it's going to be something pretty big. I'm glad you asked about that. Indeed, this is our grand opening celebration. We've timed it with Veterans Day. We're really going to have three parts to this special ceremony. We'll begin with a one-hour ceremony, 9 to 10 o'clock, on Veterans Day with some special guest speakers, some very special programs. We have more than 40 motorcycles coming in from Rolling Thunder. We have the Cocoa Beach High School marching band and uh, Junior ROTC program and more than 100 uh, uh, kids under the age of 18 from the high schools and from Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, and Sea Cadets who will be here to make and support the program and to make everybody feel comfortable. We are hoping for, we set a record last time in Memorial Day with 500. We're hoping at least six or 700 will come and join us. It will be a special ceremony. On the second part of our program, well, by the way, I should say on that first part, Sheriff Ivy will help us dedicate the first ever law enforcement memorial to the fallen of first responders, fire, rescue, sheriffs, police, that has been dedicated outside of police areas or government areas uh, in, in the history of Brevard. We're very proud of this because the first responders, they are the military in America. They do the job that we do overseas as veterans. So we have a close connection. In Brevard County, more than 30% of first responders are veterans. So it's a, it's a very important thing we're doing. Sheriff Ivy will help us dedicate that new monument to those fallen. 18 have died in Brevard County since 1954. And those are the statistics we have, and we'll honor them with that monument. The second part of our ceremony, lasting about a half an hour, will include speakers from the state, county, and Jack Masson, the Director of Parks and Recreation, who will talk about the entire expansion and how we've been a, a team of to develop with the community, with the government, the community, veterans organizations, the general public, as a team effort has come together to put together this expansion program in kind of unique and very uh, effective ways over the last couple of years. So that will sort of kick off a day-long celebration where we will have a Civil War uh, tableau and reenactment of certain things from Civil War days. We will have a team of youth uh, dancers and singers doing patriotic songs and special programs. We'll have flybys from various aerial organizations. 
We'll have a lot of special activities throughout the day. Now, I know everybody gets hungry at these events. Chick-fil-A of Merritt Square Mall will provide a free lunch from 10.30 after the program is over till 11.30 for everybody who comes. And then Hayes Meats here on Merritt Island will serve barbecue and other sandwiches the entire rest of the day at very nominal cost so that you'll always be able to eat and drink throughout the, the entire day uh, here at the Brevard Veterans Memorial Center, Veterans Day, 11th of November, beginning at 9 o'clock till 10.30 for the ceremonies, and then to enjoy the facilities and see everything that we've worked so hard with so many people helping us to create uh, the rest of the day until 4.30. You just really realize the importance, such as your organization, of spreading the word. And in the digital age, this is a great way to do it. We, we love our relationships with the media because remember what I said, through the media we will get help in acquainting all Americans, all visitors, to what veterans have done and what they can learn about veterans by coming and visit us, visiting us at the Veterans Memorial Center, Merritt Island, behind Merritt Square Mall. Well, Don, I appreciate that. And lo looking at the Veterans Voice, I'm wondering, as uh, Space Coast Channel, Brevard uh, Vets Matters show, would uh, sponsorships or uh, other businesses be available to support what we're doing? Rich, as a matter of fact, we've already had 67 businesses from Brevard County come forward to help us with the expansion project. We try to help them with some sponsorship, listing their names at various events, etc. But Space Coast Channel uh, Vets uh, matters, uh, it would be an excellent place for them to have recognition for their support and, and, uh, and sponsor more programs as we go forward. I'd highly recommend, just like they do for Veterans Voice or other publications, that they consider working the internet with what Space Coast Channel is trying to do with uh, Brevard Vets Matters, and we would be happy to uh, lead anybody in that direction. Well, Don, I want to thank you for being on Space Coast Channel's Vard Vets Matters show today. And I'd uh, be happy to come back once you have the museum up and we can take a, a, a nice look at the museum and see how you have that organized. We'd love that. We've, I've really enjoyed it today. It's been an opportunity for us to let more people understand what we're doing. And thank you very much to Space Coast Channel, Brevard Vets Matters, for coming and for caring. Awesome. Thank you much. Well, this is uh, Ricardo Alvarez, Jr., your host at the Veterans Memorial Center, and we hope that you'll come back and visit us next week on Space Coast Channel's Brevard Vets Matters Show.